Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOT. Well, in today's video, we picked up a portable winch. It's a PWC 4000 model. It's got a nice little Honda engine on it. And uh, we're pretty excited to give it a try in the woods. So we're getting another snowstorm. And uh, while I was having coffee, I was checking out uh, some of the uh, Facebook pages. And I noted that a lot of the wood turners are turning out uh, some really nice cherry bowls and things like that right now and uh, I think we're gonna go on a cherry burl hunt. Stick around! Okay guys, so like I said a few days ago we received uh, a new toy here for the woodlot. It's a portable winch and it's something that I've had my eye on for quite a while. But uh, here's what it looks like. And basically it's got a 50cc Honda engine on it, uh, GX50. And uh, it's got uh, this bell housing on it with a gear drive in it. And this is called a cap stand winch. And basically what you do is you take rope and you wrap the rope around this two or three times and then when you pull on it with the engine running it will start to uh, put tension onto the capstan and uh, start to pull your load. Now this is rated for something like 2200 pounds of pulling and with the use of pulleys you can double that and triple that. Uh, so I'm pretty interested to see what kind of work I can do with this in the woods. And uh, I have trialed it, I've done all of my pre-checks and uh, it seems like it's going to work okay. But let's get in after one of these cherry burls that we found the other day and see if we can uh, get that out to the roadside. Now I was out cruising with the snow machine yesterday and we're off of the, uh, the main woods road that we've been trying to keep opened up. And we actually found a nice black cherry. It looked like it was starting to die on top and it had burls in it. And uh, we're gonna go down into one of our spur roads and get after that one. So we'll get everything loaded up and uh, it seems like we need an awful lot of equipment to make this happen but uh, it's all part of it I guess. You guys know me, I never like to go to the woods with just one saw, I like to have a backup. So we're going to throw on the little still as well. This won't take long. I don't need any extra gas or anything like that. Uh, I do have a little box here with my choker in it and uh, a nice little pulley. And a couple of straps for the winch. All right, let's get after it. Okay guys, so there it is. Uh, there's the black cherry and you can see the burls in it, those big masses. There's gonna be a lot of beautiful uh, wood in there with uh, different grains that the wood turners just love. If you look at the top of that tree, you can see that it's basically a dead tree standing. All of the limbs are broken off. The burls are gonna be in good condition. There's gonna be a lot of firewood left over in that black cherry. And I'm not very far off of the spur road here. In the summertime, I could very easily bring the Craneman log trailer in, get that tree down, winch it, and load it up. But uh, this is more of an exercise to try out the little uh, portable winch more than anything. 
and to get some burls out and generate a little bit of revenue for the woodlot business. So what we're going to do is uh, get the winch hooked up and uh, I'm going to cut that tree down and I think that it's, I'm going to bring it right this way towards the trail. So there's only going to be maybe one or two logs that we're going to end up uh, using the little winch for to pull out close to the road. Uh, like I say, more of an exercise than anything to make sure that I know how to run the winch and I can get a feel for its capability. Okay, let's get that tree on the ground. Now it's funny how those trees end up lying when you're looking at them. I thought I'd bring those both out towards the trail, but it was obvious there were some pr pretty heavy limbs on the back side of that big stem. So I just let it fall back into the trees and hopefully this little winch is gonna pull it right out. Okay, so there's lots of videos to watch with these uh, portable winches from the company that sells them. And uh, you're not supposed to wrap these straps around and around the tree. I think they want uh, this to have the ability to move a little bit as the winch moves. So that's the reason why I'm not holding that up nice and high on the tree uh, and locking it into position by wrapping it around on itself. Now the other thing is, this is a little plate that you can buy as an option and it's meant to go over the hitch ball on a machine. And I did trial this yesterday on the back of the side by side. So I'm just gonna take that off and I'll put it back on the slide when we get going here. So it's pretty simple. Basically, you just hook in a strap on each side. And now you're connected to the tree. And then we're ready to we're ready to get at it here. Okay guys, so I haven't had this running yet this morning. I will start it up and let it warm up a little bit. It's a four stroke engine. Nice and quiet. So this is my rope bag and I've got a choker for the tree. So with this, you start back into the tree and work your way back to the wind. Now this is a pretty good sized tree, so it's going to be interesting to see how the winch does. That's a lot of snow. There's a deadfall in here that I had worked on last year, so there's no crust. So we might go right to the bottom and get stuck, but we'll see. We'll get to understand the limitations of the, of the little portable winch. This has got a little keeper on it to keep your chain from bouncing off. I like the idea 
but it is kind of a hassle to get it spun around and you can see another little attachment and then you tie your uh, heavy duty pulling rope right to the end of that so now it should be as simple as just grabbing your rope bag and walking back out to the winch okay Karen come on in So there's a special way to hook this up. Basically, you're supposed to go through this eyelet and then you can wrap around. The more wraps, the better it's gonna pull, the stronger it will be. And then there's a couple of dogs back here. Basically, you come in through here and these dogs will actually hold and keep tension on your pull and around here. Now, when you pull on this, it's gonna rev the engine up. When the engine rev is up, it's going to take tension. The whole thing's going to lift up in the air to some degree, and it's going to start pulling. So I think what we've got is I think we're stuck down in to the snow and the deadfall. That's a pretty hard way to pull for any winch. So I'm gonna try and go back with my chainsaw now. And I think I'll take that first eight foot log off of the bottom of that burl. And uh, we'll get the winch to pull that piece out roadside. And then we'll hook on to the next piece and see if we can handle that one. Rookie mistake, I didn't check the gas. Good thing I brought two saws. So one thing you got to be mindful of, that's uh, one of those uh, ropes that are intended and designed to pull heavy loads, synthetic rope or synthetic winch rope, but you don't want to rub it up against wood and trees and stuff like that because once you get abrasion on that rope, you're going to reduce the useful life. So that's why I bought this little directional pulley and uh, I'm actually going to use it right now. I didn't intend to. But my choices are reset my winch to another tree or try this pulley first. And I'm going to try the pulley.
try and bring the tree out and then back to the winch. So I'll take a second and hook that up. So this, uh, this pulley should release on its own. And you'll note that I put that up quite high. That's well over my head height. Uh, that'll help pull the tree up out of the snow a little bit, hopefully. So it's pretty simple. And this stuff's all brand new, so it's gonna take a while to break it in, but basically hook that on. Put your pull rope around it. And with any luck, that will come right out for us. Okay, let's see how we do. So I think pulling through the snow is quite an ask for that. I did buy a nose cone to put over trees and that would help to keep it up out of the brush and from getting tangled onto other stuff. We'll probably use that more in the spring of the year or when there's no snow. Um, I'm just gonna take the chainsaw now and limb this out, lighten the load a little bit. There's no sense uh, pulling anything out of the woods that doesn't need to come out. Karen's been using her smoker here lately in the sugar shack and she wanted some of this black cherry for smoke flavoring. So we're going to make her a few biscuits here. Happy wife, happy life. That's the first burrow, guys. It's gotta be a 14 or 16 inch one. Wood turners are gonna go crazy over that. 
Uh, I think I'm going to cut it out. We're trail side. There's two more small ones there we'll get, and then we'll winch the rest of that in. So I thought that was interesting guys. I didn't unwind the rope from the capstan spool and uh, you can see just how much tension and friction that that uh, capstan spool takes on the rope even with the motor not running. It's pretty cool. Look at that guys, we're getting some freezing rain too. That can't be helping the portable winches uh, pulling power. So I think we had the deck stacked against it today. Okay guys, now we just get everything ready for next time. Push this rope back in the bag, just like you're putting a snake in a bag apparently. And then when it comes out next time, it'll feed out all on its own without knots. Now this is a hundred meter rope so about uh, 300 feet roughly a little over 300 feet so one what I like about that is I could go way back in the woods if I had to and uh, bring something out there we're all ready for next time Okay guys, we're going to get this out to the side by side, get the equipment put back on that machine, and then we'll bring the sled back in and get all the burls and get them out to the house. we got to get those advertised and see what we'll get out of them.
that's a big one. Even these are six to eight inch burls. Beautiful. And the wood is really sound too, so uh, there's not gonna be any risk of rot or anything like that. So it's hard to tell guys, but uh, there's seven burls on there. You can't really see the burls themselves because the snow is stuck to them. That's a huge one. The other ones are all really good shape, good size. Uh, wood turners will be able to make bowls and vases out of this stuff. And they'll ask anywhere from 50 to $150 per piece, depending on what the grain looks like uh, when they get it all finished. So. I think that there's still a lot of money in this for the wood turners if I charge $200 for those seven burls. So that's what we're gonna put these uh, on Marketplace for and we'll see if we get uh, any interest. Okay guys, so I always love to hear from you down in the comments. We also have a Facebook page that we're running under the Oak Mountain ACOTS. We have an Instagram page and uh, I love to talk to you guys and uh, and hear what everybody else is doing to hear what you think about what we're doing here in Oak Mountain and I find it really interesting that we're reaching people all around the world so keep those comments coming uh, anyway in this video I kind of showcase this new portable winch and I'm interested to hear what you guys think about that I think that it's going to be a valuable little addition to our uh, our equipment here in Oak Mountain I don't think it's something that we're going to take to the woods for mass production but for little jobs like this uh, and pulling blowdowns out of the woods and stuff like that. I think that it's going to pay off in spades Okay guys, so like we always say if you like our videos and you want to see more of them hit the like button Hit the subscribe button share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next We'll see you in the next one guys